Okay, we are talking about um, using logarithmic exponents today and solving logarithmic equations. So I said, if both sides have the same logarithm, you set the numbers or you set the expressions equal to each other. So I did that, they both have log base 10. And since they both have log base 10, I'm gonna set them equal as I did. I got right now two equals two X. So X equals one. Why is it not negative one? Mm, well, I did three minus one and I got two. Three minus, three X minus one X is two X. Oh, so, so I, got, I got confused with the minus above. Oh, yeah, it's fine. Okay, um, let's do number 12. Same thing, they both have base two. Set them equal to each other. And again, this is super easy, guys. Negative one equals X plus one. Negative two equals X. Okay, number eight's a little bit more difficult. So on number eight, what I'm going to do is I'm going to isolate my 10 to the power of two X. I'm gonna move the six over, but then I'm going to take the logarithm of both sides. So let me first add six and I'm gonna explain this super well. Okay. 10 raised to the power of two X equals 152. Now, I can't solve for that. I can't like do anything. So I'm gonna take the log of both sides Take the log of both sides and we're gonna match the base with the number. Like this number is 10. So I'm gonna take the log of 10, base 10. So it's gonna look like this, log, and I'm actually gonna write the tens this time, even though I knew, normally don't like writing them. So I took the log of both sides. And the reason I picked log base 10 is because this 10 right here is there. Okay. Now, there's the rule. If the base matches the number, then I can cancel it out, which means I'm just gonna have a two X on this side. But however, nothing cancels out here. This 10 doesn't match up with this 152. So I keep the actual log of 152 on this side. You can only cancel the log when all is the same, like that. Solve for X. Okay, get rid of the two. I'm not gonna divide, let's just multiply by one half. X equals one half times log rhythm of 152. We're gonna do nine, 10, 13 and 14 on Tuesday. Okay, back when we're in school, in person, and I'm up at the board teaching, yay, the best, the best. Okay. All right, 15. So let's talk about the rules for this page. This page has some new information, some new types of problems. So I'm going to, here's my little how to. Write each side 
of the equation as the exponent of the same base. Okay, so this word, this definition is called exponentiate. I am going to look at my base and I'll be like, oh, look, this is base three. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to raise both sides three to the power of something, okay? So let's start at 16. Let's just do 16. Here we go. 16, 19, 7, 16, 17, 19, 20 is what we're going to do. Okay, four problems. So here's how we practice the exponentiate. This is base eight, which means I am going to end up having an eight to the something and an eight to the something. Here's what I mean. I'm gonna raise eight, so I'm converting this to exponential. Eight to the log base eight of x minus five is equal to eight to the two thirds. Okay. Now, remember our logarithm rule, eight raised to the power of log base eight, that all cancels. All I have is an X minus five. Then eight to the two thirds, it's like, the cube root of eight squared, or like the cube root of eight times the cube root of eight, right? Remember how to do this? Don't forget. Two times two, four. And x minus five equals four, x equals nine. Nineteen. Okay, we're going to exponentiate, and what does that mean again? Just like we did on sixteen, write each side of the equation as an exponent of the same base. My base is a two, but I have some little extra work. See this addition problem right here? What property is that when we have to add? What's the um, logarithmic property when I have to add? Like, where did it come from? Condense the left side, you guys. What do I do with this plus sign? The plus sign has an X and then there's an X minus seven. What's the property called? Volunteer. Mm, product. Right. Oh, sorry, I started saying it. I couldn't wait. Product property, which means this has a base two. So first let's write it as X times X minus seven. The addition problem means that I'm multiplying. So now raise it because it's base two, yeah? Raise, okay, use two as my base and raise the, the exponents will be the power of that two. Two is going to be my base. Two to the something equals two to the something. And what are my exponents? Well, they're the things here. Two 
and I can multiply x squared minus seven x, which means, we'll have you write it first. I don't wanna to go too fast. Log two raised to the power of log base two. That's the stuff that cancels. That was one of the properties we did. Oh, two to the third, eight, pardon me. Okay. Um, solve. Set everything equal to zero. Eight and one, right? X minus eight, X plus one. X equals eight, X equals negative one. And by the way, I only am gonna use positive answers. When I have two choices, I can't you have a negative in there with a logarithm. So my positive answer eight is gonna be the real. We just did 19, I wanna do 20 because they're so similar, you guys. Look, it's an addition problem. That means log base six of X plus five times X, which I'm gonna to have to distribute. This is a base six. So I need to make the, the X plus five and the two exponents. Six. I'll do it again like I did the last one. Six raised to the, sorry, log base six of X squared plus five X equals six to the second power. The numbers become the exponents. The left side becomes an exponent and the right side becomes the exponent. The base is six because that's what I was given in the original problem, base six. And the reason I do that is because I need to cancel out the log. This six raised to the power of log six, that goes away. They undo each other. X squared plus five X equals 36. Six squared is 36. X squared plus five X minus 36 equals zero. Zero. 36 is nine times four. X plus nine X minus four. X equals negative nine, X equals four. But positive answers. Almost done. 17. Okay, 17. It's a base five. Oh, let's get rid of that three first, guys. Log base five of X plus two equals two. The base is five. Both sides get raised to the five, or five is the base. Log base five of X plus two, and then a two. The pink gets set equal to each other. Five raised to the power of log base five. X plus two equals 25. X equals 23. 
Okay. Oh, I, I can stop recording. Sorry. Just forget. <laughs>